Welcome back to the channel, guys. We're here in Little Africa again with the long anticipated JK Han Crossa. This one's in 0.25 and it's a bull pup. So in my mind, it's a hunter before anything else. The target set out the 50 yards and we're gonna review four pellets today. JSB's Exact King, Air Arms Field Diabolo, the Benjamin Dome, and the H&N Barracuda Hunter Extreme. Let's get to it and see how this newcomer stacks up. All right, that's all five. Let's go retrieve our target, have a good look, talk about it. So there you go. Big surprise, right? Crossa, 50 yards. JSB Exact King. Air Arms Field Diabolo. Benjamin Dome. H&N Barracuda Hunter Extreme. Let's move the Crossa back to 100, see if the Kings can hold tight. Filling the Noblesi's 182 cubic centimeter tank is pretty standard Korea. Rotate the dust cover to expose the fill port. Insert the included fill probe and pressurize up to 200 bar. I was charging my Nobly C to about 2,250 pounds, but more on that in a minute. So the hammer spring that shipped with my Nobly C favored power over shot count and consistency. Charging to 200 bar with the OEM spring in place yielded a 10 shot descending shot chart that began with 1,111 feet per second and ended with 944. Far too powerful for my liking. Seeking shot to shot consistency and a more user friendly power curve, I ground two coils off of the OEM spring and was rewarded with the shot chart that you see here. 45 shots averaging 40 foot pounds was the sweet spot for me. But for you endurance guys, configured the same, the crosser will yield 94 shots beginning and ending at 700 feet per second. The trigger on the crosser is quite an improvement over what I've experienced with other Korean air guns. This one's super light, it's super predictable. I'd call it match grade even though they don't market it as such. one pound, 1 1.9 ounces. This trigger was one pound, six ounces out of the box. And now that I've got about 500 pellets through it, it continues to get better and better. It's super smooth, super clean, and it breaks very precisely. So the Crossa comes with a couple of different forms of moderation to keep the sound down. One, this shrouded bull barrel that does have an internal baffle. Which at 85.9 decibels is plenty quiet or you can thread on 
the included moderator. Seventy six point one decibels. Oh, yeah. The cross are delivered at 50, so I've got high expectations for 100. I've got a little paper blackbird set way down range there. But of course, every time I come out here to Central Florida to shoot these videos for us, the wind picks up, and I realize I'm starting to sound like a broken record player. But it really is like ridiculously windy now. They picked up probably over 15 miles an hour, probably between 5 and 10 constant. So we'll try not to judge the crosser, crosser too harshly and um, see if we can hit that bird at least eight out of 10 times. Whew. The crosser didn't disappoint at 50 yards and it didn't disappoint at 100. I got a little carried away and put about two magazines through this poor little blackbird. Actually, that's a picture of a crow. Our crows here in Florida are more like the size of chickens and this is more like the size of our grackles. But long and short of it is that 100 yards are not safe with the crossa. I killed this thing at least almost 20 times today, even in these poopy windy conditions. So I think now, since the cross is kind of new to all of us, I'm going to find a cozy place in the shade to sit down. I'll take you through the gun. We'll talk a little bit about what it does different and what it might mean to you as an owner. J.K. Han Crossa Noblesi 0.25. That's a mouthful, isn't it? So the gun's new to most of us. So I'm going to take you through it end to end, talk a little bit about how it's different and some things that I noticed, both positive and negative to see if uh, maybe this is the right gun for you. First thing I noticed when I picked up the, uh, the Noblesi is this little flat piece right on the bottom of the trigger guard, or that is the trigger guard. If, if I rest the gun right in my palm there, it makes it very comfortable. This, this is about a 10 and a half pound platform, full of air with the scope mounts, big side wheel on the side with the, uh, the moderator that you saw earlier on the end here, so it's not the lightest thing out there, but the important thing is that it feels light because the ergonomics are so good. The gun handles very, very, very well. It's very comfortable to move around. It's very quick to get up on target. And uh, long and short of it is the stock is, it, it's ergonomic and, and it performs. Uh, something else I noticed that's different about the stock is my hands are not the largest hands in the world and of course I'm not the biggest dude but this grip is a really small grip compared to what I've seen in the past with air guns so my smaller hands fit very very well around it and again that lends to the gun being super comfortable 
The checkering is very clean, it's very pretty, it's very, very grippy. And of course, the gun comes with a nice walnut stock on it. What I really like about the Noblesi is that it's part tactical and it's part classic looking as far as its lines. So I think it'll speak to a, to a, a larger crowd. And of course, there's a ventilated butt pad on the end that's like a sticky silicone rubber type thing that, that uh, really helps you lock it in tight, feels good. Um, the <laughs> Let's talk about actually the hammer spring for a second. So when I got this gun, it was shooting over a thousand feet per second in 0.25. And to me, that is way, way too fast. That's almost 60 foot pounds of energy. I more prefer my air guns around 35, 40 foot pounds. I feel like that's plenty to, to take game out to 100 yards. And I also feel like with the lower velocities that, that I'm getting a little bit more accuracy out of the gun. So what I did is I chopped two coils off of this spring and got my average over about 75, 80 shots uh, right at about 40 foot pounds, which is where I'm very comfortable. Now, being that this gun's so new, I'm sure it's going to be offered with some less powerful springs for you guys and gals that, that want maybe more shots and are after that bell curve that we always like to see in an air gun. But for those of you who are really into power or maybe taking some larger game up close, 58 foot pounds in stock configuration and 0.25, so it's got all the power you might need and then some. But uh, I felt the gun was going to be more accurate at a lower velocity, so I took some of the pepper out of it. And the gun's been great. It performed at 50 yards, it performed at 100 yards, so the accuracy is there. I think we can lend that to the barrel. I think we can lend it to the ergonomics, and certainly I think we can lend it to, uh, to the trigger as well. We touched on it earlier. That's about a one pound trigger, and it's as clean as far as its travel and break and let off as I've seen uh, in playing with a lot of different air guns. So that's a home run as well. If, um, if I have any gripes at all about the Noblesi, it's this right here. I don't know if I just got kind of a bum magazine, but this one's not quite 100%. It's good and I've put well over 500 rounds through it and it's been accurate, but every once in a while it'll, it'll misfeed. And I don't know if that's because something I'm doing or maybe it's just an early design, but um, there's a little bit of work to be done to be done there. But overall, this is a, a super platform and for sub a thousand bucks, I think they're going for around 900 bucks. Uh, it's a lot of gun. It really is. You know, you look at all our choices out there today and they all seem to be hovering in that 1200 to 1500 and some are ridiculous getting up well over two grand so I just don't see how you can go wrong for 900 bucks with the Noblesi. It does everything we want an air gun to do. It's accurate, it has a nice trigger, it's pretty, it's very good quality, it gives us plenty of power and it gives us, um, and it gives us plenty of shots and, uh, and it's comfortable. So with that uh, appreciate you joining us today. If you liked what you saw here and want to encourage us to make more videos like it, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up on the video. Thanks and I'll see you at the next review. Check, 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 sound check, 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 sound check, check, magazine.
into place or drop it on the ground. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay, that's all five. Airplane. And so quiet, it didn't even register. <laughs> you guys. My hands aren't the biggest in the world. I'm not the biggest dude in the world. <laughs> Excuse me, just had a gnat fly in my mouth. Whoo! Whoa! I think the JSB King, and oh my God, that was the biggest bug just flew in my ear. Ah! Whew. Okay, cross a hundred yards. And there goes the dog. Really? Okay, cross a, oh, come on, that's it. 100 yards, cross a, plenty accurate. Go buy yourself one, it's a sweet little bull pup.